So there's many different forms of teachers in our lives. They can come in the form of a friend, a parent, an actual teacher in a classroom, maybe a, a coach in some way. Um, and they open the door of knowledge for us to be received. But it's our job to take that knowledge and apply it. So that's why I agree with the quote, teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself, Chinese proverb. I'm gonna talk about my experience as a teacher, as a yoga teacher, and I'm also going to talk about some experience of me being a student of other teachers. Um, so when I think about this, I think about when I'm teaching a yoga pose to someone or I'm teaching a yoga class and maybe they're beginners, and I will say something like, bend your knees in a forward fold so that it doesn't hurt your back. But they don't understand their body yet and they don't really understand what bend your knees means because it doesn't, the verbal cue's not setting in. And then over time, they bend their knees and they forward fold and they don't have pain in their low back and they're like, oh, now I understand what this teacher was saying. And so they're able to apply that knowledge and they apply that knowledge and it helps them to grow. The second thing I'm going to talk about is one of my <laughs> yoga teachers used to always say a phrase, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And I never understood it because my brain is actually very literal. And I was like, I don't understand what this means. I don't understand what this means. Um, but what I came to realize over time, it took me a long time to understand that quote, is that what it means is to take all the good from what you're learning and don't throw that out just because there's one thing in what you're learning that doesn't make sense or that isn't actually working for you. So in conclusion, I agree with the quote, teachers open the door, but you must enter by yourself. It's our job as students to apply the knowledge and to grow when that door is open. We choose whether we wanna walk through or we don't. Thank you. All right, well, I, I, I thought the statement at the beginning was great. It makes a very good transition to your topic. You've got a clear idea where you're going with this, and there's a good preview. So everything set up is really solid. In the first section, I think I like the example that you had, and the illustration uh, gave you a little bit to talk about. I was kind of expecting something uh, uh, you know, equal to that in the second section, and I guess the second section ended up being... Uh, what your yoga teacher said to you as opposed to what you said to your students. And I was, I was a little bit confused on that because I thought that out was still, you were still in the same first section. So I, I think it needed to be a little bit clearer. Um, and it's, it's an okay example. Uh, it, I don't know how well it applies to the subject that you're talking about. And I think you could probably develop that a little bit more uh, or find some other illustrations to add a, a third point to the point that you've got here. Uh, but it was, it was solid. And then the presentation, all of the presentation things are really solid. Look, you're looking at the audience for the most part. Uh, your facial expressions are mostly engaged. You seem like you're confident. I, you said you were sweating, but you <laughs> seem like you were confident while you were speaking there. Uh, occasionally you look over at the topic and I, it, you know, I keep always telling people, what do you think is going to appear there on the topic that you don't already have in your head? Yeah. Nothing. It's just it's that crutch that people go to, which is why you're not going to have those notes for those uh, persuasive speeches, you know, because you'll just keep looking at the damn paper, you know. Yeah, you write them on your different fingers. I have five things I'm going to talk about. Let me start with my thumb number one here. Yeah. All right. And uh, so everything I thought was really solid. Um, it's a little, a little short, but... Uh, I thought the presentation part was, was good, and there's good content, especially at the beginning. All right, thank you.